I'm Sarah, I'm back with my face of the day series, I'm not sure if I'm going to call it that but we'll see. And today is Wednesday, I didn't get a chance to film my face yesterday but I'm going to talk you through everything that's on my face right now. And my skin has been very oily lately so to try and kind of mattify it I used this as a kind of primer. And this is the Bioderma Pore Refiner and it's really good at just mattifying your skin so I popped this on before my foundation. Then for foundation I used the L'Oreal Infallible Matte because I want my foundation to kind of really stay put today. I've got a really long day ahead of me and I wanted something that kind of will just stay on even though it's quite warm, quite humid. I don't want anything to start disappearing around five o'clock so this is a nice kind of long wearing foundation but still looks quite natural. Then for concealer I used the Maybelline the Eraser Eye under my eyes. I never can remember what this is called. And then the Primark PS Love cover stick on my pigmentation. And then for powder, where's my powder? I used the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and the reason that I repurchased this was because I just felt like my Bourjois Healthy Mix Powder wasn't cutting it in terms of kind of keeping my skin matte and it's been so warm lately that my skin has just been really oily and my makeup has been moving around a lot more than it normally does. So I wanted something a little bit more mattifying to just keep everything in place. Then for bronzer and contour, for contour I used the Clinique Chubby Stick Contour Stick and for bronzer, the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Bronzing Powder in the shade Universal Sun, which, I'm trying to open it with one hand, looks like this, really, really pretty, just natural bronzer, and I kind of popped that all over my face just to give it a bit of a kind of sun-kissed glow. Then blusher, I used this one by Essence, and it's called Pinky Flow, I think, let me double check, yeah, Pinky Flow, and it's just this kind of ombre blush almost, just on my cheeks to kind of give a nice pretty rosy type of look. And then for eyes, I used Max Painterly Paint Pot as a base. And then I went in with this eyeshadow palette. This is from Revolution and I redug this out of my drawer after um, Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger mentioned she'd bought it on my recommendation. I thought, yep, I'll give mine a go. So I used these two shades right here, the kind of peachy one and the kind of brown one in the crease. Just kind of very simple and pretty. I just wanted something that was going to stay on and just kind of not a very obvious makeup look. But tomorrow I'm going to do a little bit of a blue liner so we'll kind of have something different tomorrow. So that's what I'm wearing um, for eyeshadow. Then for eyeliner, I have got on the Body Shop's um, gel eye pencil. I love this. I think this is really, really lovely. I've just got it on my upper lash line. Then mascara. I've got two different mascaras just because I'm trying to use them up. On my upper lashes, I'm wearing the Maybelline One by One mascara, which I really like, but it kind of is drying out a little bit. And then on my lower lashes, this one by Clarins, I think this is called their like super supreme length or something like that, I'll have to find the name of it, but really, really like this. It's a really kind of nice lengthening mascara and it's got a really nice tiny brush so you can get underneath. Then what else do I have? On my brows, I'm wearing a combination of these two products. This is the um, Dynasty Eyes of Hour Brow Pencil and Maybelline Brow Drama. These are kind of my staples at the moment. There are some products that you'll see, like probably my brows and powder and that kind of thing, that will be repeated throughout the week, but um, I try and change up everything else. So that's what I'm wearing on my brows. And that's pretty much it. On my lips, I'm wearing this lovely, lovely lipstick by Revlon. It's one of their HD lipsticks in the shade Rose which looks like this and it just smells so lovely and it's a really nice lipstick if you know you're going to have quite a long day and you know that you're going to need to reapply it because it's quite moisturising and it kind of feels really nice and then I popped on a tiny bit of highlighter I'm kind of wary with highlighter in the summer because I feel like it can just look really fake but I popped on just a little bit of the middle powder from this Revolution um, palette, it's basically a dupe for the Hourglass palettes. So I popped a little bit of that on just on my cheekbone, but a really, really small amount. And then I thought I'd start including fragrance as well, because I do tend to wear a different fragrance every day, and I thought that would be quite fun. So today I'm wearing the Chloe fragrance. This is C by Chloe, and it's a really kind of light, powdery floral, really lovely for this time of year. And that's it, that's everything that I'm wearing on my face today. Everyone, so today is Thursday and I'm here with a quick rundown of what's on my face. I haven't actually got tons of makeup on today, I just wanted something a bit lighter and fresher. So on my, um, for my base, I'm using the Clinique Anti-Blemish Solutions BB. This is in the shade medium. I've been testing it out for about a week or so now and I'm not sure what I think of it. Part of me likes it and then another part of me is kind of not sure and it doesn't stay on my skin that well. But that's what I'm wearing as my base and kind of let me know what you think. It is very similar to MAC Face and Body, 
but I feel like it kind of hasn't got as much grip to it almost but I just applied that with my hands today and I did fake tan this morning um, so it's kind of it, the shade of it's weird it's very very dark so it is definitely one that you can only kind of do when you're tanned but I'm not sure on this I'm kind of making my mind up but that's what I'm wearing on my skin then on my uh, for concealer and powder the same as yesterday the Maybelline um, the eye eraser and Rimmel stay matte powder my eye base is MAC Painterly Paint Pot and then on my eyes for eyeshadow I'm wearing two shades from the Naked palette I'm wearing Naked and Buck Buck in the crease, Naked all over and then I took a little bit of Virgin and just popped that kind of on the kind of um, centre of my lid because I felt like it looked a bit lifeless and then for eyeliner I'm wearing this kind of electric blue colour and this is from MUA and it's in the shade Royal Blue and I love the colour of this but I just feel like for some reason on my eyes um, well on my face in general my face kind of swallows makeup up like I can put a lot on and it never really looks like I've got that much makeup on so I am wearing it as liner today I'm not sure if it can really you know you can really see if I close my eyes I'm sure you can see but with my eyes open kind of my lashes disguise it a little bit but I like it anyway I kind of wouldn't wing it out next time though I think I'd just leave it as a kind of upper lash line thing that's what I'm wearing though. And for mascara, I've got the Re the Revlon Bold Lacquer Grow Lashes Mascara. I don't love this, I'm just trying to kind of use it up. Um, and I haven't got any on my bottom lashes, I just didn't fancy that today. Then for contour, I've got the Barry M Contour Kit, the darkest shade, this one right here, just a little bit up in my cheek. And bronzer, I only wanted a tiny bit because as I said, I fake tanned and this foundation is quite bronzy anyway, so I didn't want to kind of look orange. But I'm using the Clarins Mosaic Bronzer, which is gorgeous. I just used the kind of lighter bit, so this bit just a little dusting. I can't not put bronzer on, but when I fake tanned, I kind of don't really need it. Brows, same combo as yesterday, the Eyes of Hours pencil and the Maybelline Brow Drama. And then for cheeks and lips, on my lips I'm wearing this MUA Sweet Sheen Lip Balm in the shade what's this called coral reef it's not really a coral it's kind of like a pinky well like a kind of bright pinky peach I suppose but this is really nice really moisturizing and just kind of feels lovely on the lips they do a really nice peach one I think that I'm gonna pick up it goes with my nails um, and then for blusher, I used a cream blush because I wanted just something a little bit kind of pretty and spring like so I use this one by Topshop and it's in the shade head over heels so I just pop that kind of on my cheeks and it looks really fresh and lovely. I like this makeup look, it's just the base I'm not sure about. But um, I think this has been fun kind of seeing how different products work and that kind of thing. And it's also kind of giving me more chance to talk to you about products that, you know, might not necessarily make it into the cut into like recommended products or favourites or that kind of thing if I don't love them. But that's everything on my face. For fragrance, I forgot to bring it to show you, but I'm wearing the, um, day, not Daisy. Honey by Marc Jacobs. That's what I'm wearing today. And yeah, I hope you'll have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. So I haven't got my usual set today because I'm in a little bit of a rush, but it's Friday today and I'm going to talk you through what's on my face. So for primer, I used the Body Shop Miracle Blur. Then for foundation, I've got the Maybelline Dream Flawless Nude, which I love. It's such a great foundation. And then concealer is the Maybelline The Eye Eraser. I remembered what it was called this time. Um, and the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which isn't making me super matte. It is really humid today, though, so I'm not sure kind of what um, that's about. But then for bronzer, I'm wearing the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer in number 52. And then the Barry M Contour Shade from their Contour Palette as a contour. Brows, I need something different today. I used the Benefit Gimme Brow just because I wanted something kind of quick and easy. And then for eyeshadow, my base is the Clarins eyeshadow base. And then for eyeshadow, I've got on Max Naked Lunch and then Sable in the crease, which I love. I love that combo. I always wear it. And then for eyeliner, I just smudged a little bit of the Pixie eyeliner in bronze beam on the upper lash line, lush line, on the upper lash line, and smudged it out a little. And then for mascara, I'm wearing um, Benefits Their Real, which I love, but it's such a pain to remove. It's like in just really, really annoying. And then for um, blusher, I've got on Max Pink Swoon, which is a really lovely kind of bright pink. And then on my lips, I'm wearing Mac again. I've got a lot of Mac. MAC on today. Um, I'm wearing 
chatterbox but what I did was I kind of put it on and then I blotted it with some tissue because I wanted it to be a little bit kind of more of a stain and kind of just a little bit more of a muted down version of that colour it's a kind of mid-tone bright pink but I really like it and that's everything on my face today so let me know if you like this kind of way of doing it rather than me showing you the products or your kind of input I'd love to know what you think um, and I will see you next time my perfume today is Dulce by Dolce & Gabbana as well